So here's the guild master. The furnace in the brewer's beacon needs repairs. Beer got speared. I just sent someone out to tinker with it not a week past. Mayhap the bomb can Swiss had crept in there was a touch too volatile. I'll have an artisan with the, uh, visit the lighthouse and pay special attention to reinforcing the casing of that furnace. Your work is done here, adventurer. May the navigator guide you on your journeys. What say you taking on some work from Naldic and Vimelis? We've a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run a missive over to Upbrim, the head shipwright at the Morabi Dry Docks. We forge most of the ship's bits and pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the dock found in the south of Lower Lanoskea. That's also where you'll find the main office of Naldic and Vimelis. The Morabi Dry Docks is one of Limsalominsa's most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure you'll not regret attuning yourself to the area's etherite. If you've no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd be best served making use of the Chocobo Porter's first floor of the Mizzenmast in case you were wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate and follow the road south, may the navigator guide your steps. Yeah, because we will walk. Hm. Ah yeah. Art Birm. You have a missive Kinda. for me? Huh? It's kind of weird, the names. I cannot remember any of those no, names. No, you don't have to. With those, you don't have to. So yeah, you have a missive for me from the Forge Master Hnanza. I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon past. Let's see it then. Blast and botheration. Another delay. I'm well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. My apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Azungi, is it? Well, Azungi, this proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the dock since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is a symbol of Limsa Lominsa's rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the seventh Umbral Era. Thus, we are striving to complete her construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thalassocracy. Yet even with such unprecedented measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there is no end of odd jobs for hard-working adventurer. Be you fair warned, there is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. Yep, thank you. So, where in the Seven Hells is that man? Not once in twelve moons has he been late with the shipment, and now two whole turns of the sun without a single word. A shipwright of mine, a young man named Firthmit, Recently left Candle Keep Quay to retrieve several crates of supplies ordered from Limsa Lominsa, but has yet to return. I have sent several missives to Halt Broda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the right nor the supplies he was scheduled to collect. That man knows something and I severely doubt he is telling me the whole truth. As I cannot leave my post, <laughs> I would ask you to travel to Candle Keep Quay in my stead and inform Halt Droba that if he insists on playing these games, I will personally see that he is transferred to Turtleback Island, where he can rot alone in the middle of the sea for eternity. Okay. Halt Broda. Eh, that's a self-righteous dog. Abderim doubt that I have ever told him anything less than the truth. Yeah, you have to slash doubt him in the chat. That's a little bit rude. No, Turtleback Island, he cannot do that. Can he? I swear on my poor Nana's grave, navigator rest her soul, I know naught of this frillsmith, nor his precious supplies. Hells, we here at the quay have had enough troubles these past few suns, what with the sinking of the Lominsian cargo ship of the Salt Strand. I haven't the, the time to take a proper piss, let alone make note of every scrag that wanders in, in off the grip. Ooh. Oh. 
No, I'll take the money. Now the way I see it, if you have time to be standing here questioning my character, then you must certainly have the time to get the ass of yours down to the salt strand and help us search for survivors of the wreck. Who knows, you may just run across this frill smith everyone seems so eager to find. Here's to hoping the navigator hasn't found him first. Oh look, it's Frillimitz. I, I'm Frillimitz. <laughs> You say the foreman's wandering on the whereabouts. I thought you might be. Oh no, oh, no I. It, it was an accident. <laughs> I swear. You but you must know I cannot show me face at the dry docks until I've righted the terrible wrong I caused. Two nights past, I made the trip from the dry docks to Candlekeep Quay. I just as the foreman asked. The seas were right rough, and the crap of cargo ship was wary of bringing her close to the cliffs, so I paid a few coins to a fisher to take me out to meet her. By the time we was halfway twixt shore and ship, the swells had risen to night on ten yarns, and twasn't long before the waves had told, uh, hold us off. Uh, try as we might to steady the boat, nature's grip was too tight, and we was flung headlong into the Lominsen gallery. When I awoke, both ships were gone, and the cargo I was collected lay strewn across the salt strand. Is ice made every effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with kickrin, and I ain't one with a sword, and now we see why it cannot return to the dry docks. Yeah, we're gonna kill them. Fiddle Smith. That night, I was tossed into the sea like some doll of rags. <laughs> and it oh, went no. long before the world round me faded to black as I slipped deeper into the hell's abyss. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hells, and I awoke to find myself washed ashore and here's been ever since, waiting for a chance to salvage me master's cargo. The missing parts, I don't know how I can repay you. With money. Give me all your money. Uh, I'll deliver the supplies right away, but first I must stop by the quay so that I might pay my respect to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his slice for a handful of coins. Could you tell Ab Thrim that I'll be back at the dry docks by nightfall? Many thanks, adventurer. I will not forget the kindness. I'm relieved to hear that both Feril Smith and the supplies are unharmed, though it was foolish for him to believe that I would blame him for that, which was obviously out of his hands. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent to the dry docks were as calm as a slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Candlekeep Quay was of a less natural sort, the sort of which the Sagan have been known to conjure. Azumgi, well, I originally had doubts about your motives. You have repeatedly proven yourself an asset to Naldic and Vimelis. I still do not like you, but that does not mean I do not trust you. Yeah, you, you're an asshole as well. Uh, Gim Thotta, head of the watch there, uh, here at the Dry Dogs, believes the pirates may be plotting an attack on the victory, and she requires assistance, investigating a group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby. I've recommended you for the task. Despite all Limsa Lominsa endured before, during and following the calamity, the fact that there are still those who would turn their backs on the city-state so that might line their pockets with a few handfuls of coin, just the thought of it sickens me. Yeah, he points to a direction. Ah yes, I had a feeling you would be the one Abtrim sent. Since you first arrived at the Morabi Dry Dogs, I have had my men watch you. Oh, there's no need to get angry. I make it a point to keep an eye on all those new to the area. It's simply protocol. And you'll be pleased to know that nothing incriminating was found. You appear to be a model citizen. Thanks. That and the foreman seems to think, uh, to think somewhat highly of you, which I must admit is quite shocking. The man doesn't even trust his own mother. Very well then. I assume Abthrim, uh, Abthbirm informed you of what your task would entail. The pirates, we believe, are conspiring to raid the dry docks were last seen making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spinner. I would have you approach the man posing as lost adventurers and see if you cannot somehow learn of their intentions. Knango, stationed at the rear gates, can provide you with the exact location of the camp. Yep, thanks. 
Azumgi, haha, I knew it, no more sardiness for Knango tonight. I shall dine on the finest salmon on the peninsula. Why? Well, I had a little wager going with some of the other guards on who Abdbirm would recommend for the next job. My money was on you. Ah, the job, yes, of course. If you follow the road past the gates to the southeast, you will eventually come to a barren cave with a single large stone half buried in the cliff overlooking the sea. Followers of the Twelve say it's a holy place dedicated to Nemia, the spinner. I'd be surprised if the pirates camped up there were aware of that, though. Were aware of that, though. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what a sentence. <laughs> this reputable pirate. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a cutscene. No. Can I slap him? Hi. I'm giving you to the count of nine to step back on that path and carry a venturing ass back down to weather rock it's crawled you out from under. You see, it's added up me ears with your type, roaming the ills like it was yes to roam. It's getting to be the man. Can I enjoy a mug of rum without some shite breath outlander running up asking which is the way to the local level meet? Seven else if I know I'm a bloody pirate, God damn it. That's false balls. Once we've me boy back and putting this God's forsaken pistol of an island so far behind me, and no one will remember I was ever here. Come on, Scrags, we snipes to sharpen. Yep, thanks. Goodbye. But didn't he say that we should go away? But he did go away. We were so intimidating. Oh yeah, I figured. So the pirates are gone. <laughs> we fixed the problem. Let's go. So the trespassers are indeed pirates, and they are indeed planning something. But what is it to talk of getting me boy back? Could it be that their target never was the victory? Something is not right, and I want it by idly waiting for those pirates to make the first move. I shall order increased patrols immediately. Thank you again for your help, Azumgi. It appears we were wise to put, your, uh, put our trust in you. I'm concerned, Azumgi. It appears that the pirates I had you investigate are on the move. They creep ever close to the dry docks, so I must assume they mean to target the victory herself. Didn't we just say that they don't try to uh, attack the victory, but yeah. No, that, no, 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 what? <laughs> that ship is a symbol of everything Limsa Lominsa uh, strives to become, and I will not allow these base scoundrels to lay a single finger upon her hull. We must apprehend them before they put their plans into motion, and you, Azumgi, are just the man to do it. Without your capable assistance, I fear the security of the dry docks cannot be guaranteed. Not moments ago, my guard submitted reports of suspicious activity in the area. Pray begin your efforts by listening to one of their accounts firsthand. It matters not whom you choose to speak uh, with, but be sure to question either Urswurst uh, at the front gate or Knago at the rear. Any suspect saboteurs you encounter during the course of your investigation area are to be interrogated. Report any and all findings directly to me. Yeah. Any and all. <laughs> mm -hmm. That makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> of course. Hail yeah. adventurer! Glad to have another hand abroad to help shore up security. The gods know our reports would sit on Gimthorthas' desk gathering dust if it weren't for the assistance of those such as yourself. Speaking of reports, though, I saw one of those mangy, uh, mangy pirates lurking around the cliff near Empty Heart. I take a closer look before he has the chance to cover his tracks. Okay. Oh no, we have to go up there. Bah, spotted me, did ya? Well, you're too late. What's to happen is already happening. Okay. Yippee! Oh, we can't jump down. But here! Whee! Uh. Oh my god, the sound you made! <laughs> my little body <laughs> it was just splat <laughs> oh okay this is a solo Imagine instance fall damage. yeah did you have to do it solo yep bye good luck good luck so you good found fun. me one of those pirates did you I know you were the right adventurer to ask for aid, but what could these knaves be planning? 
What's to happen is already happening. Captain, ah, uh, trouble at the shipyard. Uh, shipyard. <laughs> Easy now, soldier. Who did this to you? Pirates out of nowhere stuck me good. Gods below, we are not prepared for this. You had so much time. The pirates, <laughs> soldier, how many do they number? It's three. not sure. I can't count to three. It's like Valve <laughs> and Half-Life. More than I could quickly count, seem to be carrying explosives. Explosives? Then there is no time to lose. Azumgi, you heard the situation. Make your way to the shipyard and engage these intruders. I will see to this man's wounds, then follow after. Make haste. Now. I just don't want to fight. No. Yeah. Hey, where do I have to go? Uh, uh, to the ship. But just walk around and you will see enemies. Just kill them. You have half an hour. To the ship. Oh damn, you can just skip them. Wait, no, what? They instantly, they they just instantly walk. towards me. You can just walk by them and then you just activate a shortcut. Or a short ah. I don't know. Damn. Never I reckon. Again. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Never reckoned it'd be this easy. Still don't trust those slimy bastards, but their plan worked like a charm. So it was five pirates. <laughs> uh, and oh, I'm he, missing one. He wasn't. Oh, no, the captain is one. Um, oh. So the dude wasn't able to count to five. <laughs> but yeah, da, uh, what are you doing, captain. you great bloody fool? Shut your trap, boy. This be over soon. All that's left now is to blow this ugly pile of driftwood into splinters. Oh, they really wanted to attack it. Why would you do such a thing? Have you any idea how important this ship is? What it represents? Aye, and that's what makes it all the sweeter. Whatever it took to knock some sense into my treacherous backstabbing son. Imagine a boy of mine giving up the pirate life to become a shipwright and building a bleeding maelstrom vessel at that. What under the Minzian's white, green ocean made you take up with these self-righteous shites? You're the one with the bloody nose, uh, with no bloody sense, Star. Don't you see, the pirates had their glory days, but that era is over. Back to differ. No. Haven't you watched One Piece? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I wondered why Abirim never spoke of his father. I never would have thought. This ship's a symbol, all right, of everything what went wrong with the world. And I meant to shatter it into a hundred thousand pieces. At least he can count. Oh, there are more pirates. Gimthota Azumgi, pray beat the tar out of this bloated sea slug and make sure no harm comes to the victory. Oh, did we kill him? Oh no, he's alive. I must be getting old, letting some green venturer get the best of me. Be right back. Duh. Yep. He is green, to be no. fair. That's one big bloody ship. Big and nasty looking. You made that, did you? My thanks, Azumgi. I shudder to think what may have become of the victory without your intervention. The pirates have made a right mess of things. I'd best get sorting out the docks. And my thoughts could use some sorting out as well. Ever did my father have a way of turning my life upside down? Pray convey my thanks and my apologies to Gim Thotha. So, um, how fair you, Azumgi? I cannot begin to thank you for the role you played in preventing this madness. You defend more than a simple ship. You saved the budding hope of Limsa Lominsa from a violent demise. The day was yours. It seems our security regimen will require much in the way of improvement if we are truly to keep the dry dock safe. Abt Birm apologies. Uh, apologizes. Well, I suppose I can understand why he would feel responsible for his father's actions. Of all those involved, this incident was hardest on him. But in time, I believe he will come to a single conclusion. The most fitting way of moving past his anguish is to see the victory completed and in the water. 
Ah, by the way, the pirates we defeated have been handed over to the Yellow Jackets. Reiner's men will be taking over the investigation. Before the Yellow Jackets moved in, however, we recovered a most unusual object. Should you have time to spare, I would ask you of another favor. Who would have guessed they sending yeah, us again Yeah, I, I don't know. I never would have guessed. Azumgi, in light of your role in recent events, there are few others whom I trust would... Uh, whom I would entrust this task. Since last we spoke, a curious missive has been discovered amongst the personal effects of Arta Sifrin, the pirate behind the plot to sabotage the victory. This missive was penned in the most unusual script. A script we believe to be some manner of code. Needless to say, anything which a proven enemy of Limsal or Minza deems worthy of enciphering is like to be, uh, uh, is like to be of great interest to the Maelstrom. Unfortunately, none among us can make any sense of the message. In cases such as this, I'm told the Yellow Jackets are wont to turn to Baderon and his convention, uh, convenient connections. Thus, I have you deliver this missive to the proprietor of the Drowning Wench into his hands and no other. Do you understand? Yes. No. Ahoy there, Razumgi. I've been hearing about your deeds at the Dry Docks. Abd Birin laid out the entire tale for me. Poor sword was still reeling as its old man parts in the business. But at least he kept the victory from being sunk afore she had sailed. And for that, I owe you my thanks. You've really made a name for yourself, Irin Limsa. Uh, folk know that when they need someone a doing. Eh? You need someone doing? And what might that be? Take this. <laughs> You want someone to read a message written funny letters for you? <laughs> and Gim Thota thought I might know a man as uh, a man as good. Well, let's see it then. It's just Latin or something like that. <laughs> I. I reckon I might know a canny bugger who can read stuff like this. Ugly sort by the name of Badron. <laughs> you know, like the one me regulars now, Zumgi. You've never let me down, yet the navigator helped me. I reckon I can trust ya. Gim thought I was right to want this message deciphered. We've got us some trouble brewing here and no mistake. Get ready for action and I'll explain. Good to have a board lad. Now then, where to start? Yep, we're almost at the dungeon. Nice. No. Back when I was younger and nastier, I earned my living as a sellsword. In that business, if you wanted to know what your enemy was about to, you had to learn to read the orders you prized from the gold dead ends of its mates. That's how it came to know how to read your message. Truth be told, the script was only too bloody familiar. Them Sahagin letters. Uh, them Sahagin's letters, lad. And I should know, I've got it more fishback messengers than I can count. It gets worse though. The plans to blow up the victory is all in here, right down to the fine details. Looks like they meant to raise eight kinds of an West Western L in ah L in Western Lanoskea, then it melts from his new flagship in the confusion. The point being, the attack on the victory weren't the act of few rebellious pirates. It was a key part of some canny bastard's grand plan. But if I'm reading this right, the attack itself came much too early. I'll wager they panicked when they saw you was onto them, rushed in to do the job and buggered it up. The tattoo-faced bastards, as they say, was paying up brim old man. They with the serpent reavers, right? But none of their crew was there, was they? Did they have somewhat better to do or what? Ah, the twins. Have you seen the twins in the background? Uh, I didn't yeah. pay attention. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, seven else. I've got it all backwards. That mess at the victory. That was meant to be the bloody distraction. The fishbacks ain't interested in the Maelstrom's baby. They're after men, just like they've always been. They're sending their pirate lackeys after a civilian target. This bit about raising Alan Western Nanoskea. That's where it'll be. Summer tells me Swift Perch is about to get in and art.
is a rough translation of the message. Take it to Commodore Reina at the Coral Tower and I'm tell us a fair busy day. Oh and give him in lad. Uh, you can be damn sure it'll need one. Are we getting the dude drunk now? I am Reiner. And you must be the adventurer whose name seems to be on everyone's lips. You are to be commended for your part in thwarting the plot to destroy the victory. Now what can I do for you this day? You bear an urgent message from Braderon. Why do I get the feeling that my hopes for a quiet evening are about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me, what is it afoot? He looks very young. Mm. An assault on Swift Perch. But we've seen nothing to suggest the Serpent Reavers are massing for an attack. <gasps> Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility. Baderon is rarely wrong about such matters. I will marshal the Yellow Jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Baderon's assessment that the attack on the Dry Dogs was intended as a diversion, Swift Perch is but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Commodore, sir! Report! It's the Saar again, sir. They've mounted a large scale assault on South Tide Gate and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. By the navigator. It seems my decision has been made for me. Muster the troops and give the order to march. Aye, the Serpent Reavers are in league with the Sahagin, which means there is every chance this assault on Tidegate may yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it, and that leaves Swift Perch vulnerable to those pirate traitors. It is at times such as these that I wish the Warrior of Light yet walked among us. Oh! He would be surprised. But wishes will avail us not, Dreng Barazi. You must serve in their absence. Make for Swift Perch with all haste and lend your strength to the squads. I can spare uh, I can spare for settlement's defenses. Yep. So disband. Risk oh, no, flow. Yeah. Oh. Commodore Reiner sent word we'd be getting reinforcements, but I didn't expect him to send you. You certainly look like you've seen your share of action, though. You bear little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I met fresh off the ferry. In any case, do you know what you're fighting for? Oh, uh, fighting for here. This place, Swift Perch, it was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the calamity threw their way. And we're not about to let some fish fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones who finally broke the spirits. Don't give those pirate bastards one bloody ilm, you hear me? Yes. Proceed. Here they come! Yeah, now, I thought them all yellow jacket worms was meant to be busy. That useless scrag ain't followed the plans, has he? Now what? Pull back and wait for our saga again, brothers. Piss on that, we ain't turning back empty handed. Remember, no killing the small folk, or it'll be your blood who stains Lord Leviathan's altars. The yellow bellies you can butcher at will, them dirt eating slugs be crushed under the full might of the serpent reavers. Seems Swift Perch was the main target after all, eh? Squads 1 and 2 protect the townsfolk, squad 3 your rear guard. The rest of you, we meet their charge where we stand, let us bear the Commodore word of our victory or no word at all. For Limsa Lominsa! Ha, I got you all yellow bellies and dance on your gizzards. <laughs> gizzards. And done. Well fought, the reavers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them lurking about, so don't let your guard down just yet. Oh, 
course they're going to be more. Of course. They would die without us. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this dude again. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. What do we know yet? O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite mine enemies. Damn. Do I have to kill the black dude too? The, the you guy in the black guy. Your very what? being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Hmm. Defeat the masked mage. It is, the thing doesn't make any damage to me. What is this? No. When springs this preternatural might. A fearsome opponent against whom you shall not stand alone. An unwelcome guest. No matter, all shall fall before me. I love Vishtola. You will learn to love her as well. I don't think that I really needed her. No mortal should possess such strength. Yeah, we're still kinda a little bit overpowered. His power wanes. Hmm. I think he's dead. <laughs> Not yet. No. Uh, that the wisdom of the paragons should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? Then it is as I feared. They are known as the bringers of chaos or Asians, to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. Is uh, It is they who have been manipulating the beast tribes. Pardon, you would know if we Charlians have encountered Essians before. I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know whence I hail? Wait, I do begin to see. You have been blessed with a special gift of being a player character. It's knowing too much. Are you alright lad? If I'd known a mean bugger like that was hiding in the bushes, I would have left a squad or six to keep you company. Just well, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping investigation to a close. Those reavers were the ones spiriting folk away in the dead of night, and this bastard here was pulling all the strings. A trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. Yet we prevailed, and thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned much. Did they carry them, or did they just... Uh, I think they carried him. Aye, heroic is the word. I don't want to think about what, we've, what would have happened if you hadn't been here, friend. Uh, the quest would not start. <laughs> And your assistance yeah. is much appreciated too, Lady Ishtola. Please give our regards to the Scions. I'm glad to have played a role in bringing what I hope is an end to this disturbing spate of abductions. The threat of your fate forms a part of most intriguing tapestry. Mayhap we will be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray send my greetings to Commodore Reiner. Go. We Woo. saved the world. That needed We did the you. first step for mm. it. Don't touch that stone. Yep. Put it inside you.
Hi. So, Drang Barazi, eagerly have I waited your return. Word of your exploits is already spreading through the ranks. My troops and I owe you a great debt of gratitude for your timely assistance. You have shown yourself to possess of a sure arm, a strong spirit and sound judgment. Would that, uh, would that Limsa Lominsa had more of your like? I have little doubt that you shall one day join the ranks of Eorzea's greatest adventurers. It is but a matter of time. Clearly, Baderon's eye for potential remains as sharp as ever. Though I doubt even he imagined you capable of such feats. Mind your favor with your own account of the day's events, such victories bear retelling. <laughs> Gather around, friends! <laughs> yes, laugh at my jokes! <laughs> Ishtola has been working with us for quite some time, you see. And she was only too willing to assist the Yellow Jackets in the kidnapping and investigation, proving herself a stalwart ally of Limsa Dominsa yet again. Needless to say, after you part, uh, your part in thwarting the attempt to sabotage of the victory and the small matter of your deeds at Swift Perch, you two have proven yourself a valued friend of the Thalassocracy. Admiral! Oh, voice acting. Is there voice acting? From the Admiral. May I present to you Admiral uh, Admiral Berlswin. So, this is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field reports. I am Melve Blufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done today. Ha! <laughs> Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Baderon and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Typical German. Safe to say, mm. they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the man who foiled the Sahagin. Oh! Oh! <laughs> A seat at the feast! Oh, and don't be late. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, May you walk in the light of the crystal. So, I'm not sure you understand just how unusual it is for the Admiral to invite an adventurer to a state banquet. This is a highly coveted honor, why even the officers under her direct command are rarely afforded such recognition. But I will not deny you have earned it. Many of the tasks you have performed in service of the Thalassocracy have been both difficult and dangerous. This is a reward for all of your efforts, a nod to your many achievements, both large and small. Has the enormity of this moment yet to sink in? Perchance you will realize its significance when you stand before the assembled dignitaries of Limsa Lominsa. And now that I have imagined the scene, I realize that you will require attire suitable for the occasion. I suggest you visit the wench and see what Baderon can arrange. He is surprisingly knowledgeable about such things. Well, well, if it ain't Merle Whip's guest of honor. Oh, Nobbin, with the eye and mighty now, is it? I tell you, lad, I damn near snorted ale out of my nose when I heard the news. You've come a long bloody way, you've heard that's the truth. 
Well, one thing's for sure, you'll not want your fair decent grub. These banquets are catered by the bleeding Bismarck, no less. It is a grand chance to fill your belly bursting with fine and more importantly, free food. But we can't have you turning up your shite's cake venturing here. No, their hero of the hour needs to have a touch of refinement about him, if only to stop folk complaining when stuff is faced with cake. Take yourself over to the Octon and speak to Inasmin, or the Burgery Consortium. She'll furnish uh, ye with some gentlemanly to wear. I already had work with her, so all you need to do is pick up the goods, then bring them back here as I can tell you what's what. Good evening, sir. I assume you're the underdressed gentleman Baderon mentioned. Sniff. I see he was not exaggerating. Um, I've chosen these especially for your debut in polite society. Fear not, I'm certain you will absolutely adore them. Been to see Nazmi Avia. Let's have that box then. Oops. Here we go, a nice pair of dress shoes for ya. A bloke might have meant much else to its name, but so long as you got decent pair of shoes on its feet, there ain't nowhere it can go. Think of them as a gift from me and all other folk you've done right by along the way. Aye aye, tis a very moving jester, I know. Just don't go welling up on me, eh? Wouldn't do for Limsa's new hero to turn up the banquet soaked in its own tears and snot. Any rod, let's your garb sorted. Now you just need to settle your nerves. Tell me when you're ready and I'll tell you where you're meant to go. Shoes. You're ready then, Arya. Good. The banquet will be starting soon. If you had waited any longer, I considered it to eat me civic duty to hear her over and drag her there. Now, make sure you're wearing them fancy shoes when you turn up alright. Carrying them won't do no good. They're meant to make you look like a gentleman, remember, not a gentleman's breeding lackey. As for directions, the feast's been on Old Breach in the Admiral's briefing room. Speak with Santil in the Bulwark Hall and he'll show you the way. Just keep that at eye and lad. After everything you've done for Limsa, you've good reason to be proud. And don't let God Eyebomb Bagger tell you different. Ah, so. Equip the shoes. The dress shoes. Dress shoes. Fancy dress shoes. An adventurer wearing fancy dress shoes. Oh, now those are some fancy dress shoes. Come, adventurer, I will show you to the briefing room. <laughs> so over dramatic. <laughs> the Damn. shoes! They don't wear fancy dress shoes. No, because we are fancy. I mean, I wouldn't go to a banquet with this outfit. No, me neither. I think I'm still under trust. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Brothers and sisters oh, of the sea. Thing? Join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. Whee! These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the Fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. <laughs> My tits are glowing. <laughs> oh no, it's a stone. <laughs> this is one of the crystals of light. By the navigator. 
After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not? Of a towering crystal. You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. Of being this a player character. <laughs> from your vision was the mother crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations. As once did the deeds of so the, are warriors we the warriors of, of Christmas. No, we are the warrior of light. Know you the tale? No, no, no. Christmas. Like you, they were not of these lands. Yet they fought Christmas. to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the grand companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Mm. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. I wonder why. When I look mm. upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. Oh, my drain. <laughs> I forgot this cutscene. I don't know what's happening. Get him. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Flames to the boar! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is Artemis? No, it is nothing. Oh, oh, bloody hells! Without the music, it's kind of so different. I forward. Yeah. We are being watched. Raging bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond. Respond, damn you. This is Matt. 
Rider, this is raging bull. What news? Why is he kneeling down for a phone call? There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Read to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. Mad snake! Mad snake! <laughs> the me. reference! Okay, now I understand why he knelt down. Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Soi. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link shells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! I love the faction leaders. The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. That I should live to behold Bahamut once more. Magnificent. The eons of imprisonment have only made him hungrier. I am aware of them. Haven are mine. They are powerless to act. It has begun. Soon, the planet will regain its true form. Morning sunshine. All a bit much for you, was it? What happened? I don't remember then. You killed over in the middle of the banquet and caused right stir. I had to carry you back to revenge myself. 
Well, as a carry, it was more a matter of dragging and rolling. Too much cake, I reckon. Any road, don't fret. Wait. Huh? Too much cake? Yeah, of course. I would stuff Happy my alcohol. face with cake. Not the alcohol. <laughs> uh, don't forget the alcohol. Cake. Cake is... Oh, okay. Cake is priority. <laughs> cake yes, is cake is priority, but cake doesn't tumble you over. Depends on how much sugar the cake has. <laughs> it's a diabetic coma. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> explains it. Yeah, I mean, there could be also alcohol in the cake. <laughs> yeah, fair. Well, we are in a pirate town. Rum and cake shouldn't be such a kind of surprise. So, it is little wonder you were was exhausted after everything you've been through lately. Your little nap seems to have put some color back in your cheeks, but so I leave it to you. Bugger, I almost forgot. The Admiral wants to have a word with you. When you fell up to it, talk to Xanthril and I'll let you into the command room. Oh, and stay awake, eh? I'm told old Merlevip was in the middle of telling your story when you started snoring last time. I doubt she'd look kindly on your repeated the trick. <laughs> Greetings, Azungi. Admiral Burswis Finn awaits you in the command room. Shall I announce you? Yes. No. <laughs> no, I want to in. surprise her. <laughs> <laughs> I will sneak up on her and peekaboo. <laughs> ah, <Stormat> <laughs> ah, Zumgi, it is good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered. Then let us waste no time. I have a task that needs doing. One I would entrust to no other. The duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. I do hope you have not made other plans. To business then! I have penned a letter to each of my counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. The Battle of Cartano and the Calamity that followed claims countless lives. It has been five years since those of us who, uh, who, spared, dragged, huh? who were spared dragged ourselves from the ashes to look upon an Eorzea we scarcely knew. Five years and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship and the warriors of light who might once have given them hope are gone. Are you sure about that? Yet we must press on regardless. We will never truly, uh, we will never truly do so. However, till we have faced our past. To that end, I'm proposing that a memorial service be held in each of the city-states on the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartano. These letters contain details of said proposal, and I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. You've proven yourself a staunch and able ally to Limsa. Well, that is not my only reason for choosing you. No, I choose you, Pikachu, because you possess a quality which puts me in mind of history's champions, a quality I feared lost. Say that you will perform this duty. I knew you would no. not disappoint me. <laughs> Do yourself. I refuse. This task shall take you far from the borders of our nation, to the city-states of Gridania and Uldar. A grueling journey, to be sure, where you travel by sea and land, but I mean to have you take to the skies. An airship pass, to be used at your discretion. Airships bound for the nations of our allies leave from the landing connecting uh, connected to the bridge, but before you depart, I suggest you trouble Badaron for a few pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard is nothing if not well traveled. Tis a pity I cannot issue such passes with a free hand, as I did in more peaceful times, when births were not so limited. But in these times of war, every craft we commit to the clouds risks drawing the eye of the Empire, and every voyage must needs to be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, I consider your place well deserved. Nor I am alone in that opinion. There, are, there were other parties who would see you granted the privilege of air travel. I, Zumgi, your deeds do not go unnoticed. 
Full many see great promise in you, but I have flattered you enough. On behalf of Limsa Lominsa and her people, I bid you go forth, adventurer. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either. Only by braving the unknown will you achieve the greatest of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that your destiny will be no small thing. <sighs> Back from your meeting with the Admiral, are ya? Personal bleeding envoy. So you'll be carrying the word of your admiral herself to the leaders of the alliance. Bugger me, I knew he was going up in the world, but I didn't really uh, realize that the bloody eye. I skipped some words. <laughs> I'm proud of you, lad. <laughs> Thinking of how far we come, why tis enough to bring a tear to me eye. And that ain't ale talking neither. Well, not just the ale at any rate. Bless the navigator for steering me, ye me why. Course is only to start. Now you've got your hands on the airship pass, the all of ours they are laid out before ye, like a fair maid on a feather bed. And she's a big girl too, with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies. If you think us Lominsons are characters, just wait till you cross paths with the Grim Forest Relas or Gridania, or trade coins with the crafty merchants of Uldar. And there's the wild places where the beasties rule, and no bugger with an ounce of sense sets foot. But you're adventurer, so I wouldn't let your little thing like that all your back. Course it ain't all exploring, exploring and excitement. There's an heap of troubles what plagues every nation, see? Taint just ours. I'm talking intrigue and infighting, beastmen and their goddamn primals. Aye, there's an ugly side to life, and sooner or later you're bound to walk into it. But I'll wager there's booger all there's as you can't handle. Someone tells me you're going to be just fine. The realm's a bit rough, tis true, but folk you're beginning to recover from the beating the calamity dealt them. Call me an hopeless optimist, but it wouldn't take much to, to turn things round. Tis the perfect time for an adventurer like yourself to get out there and make a difference. Well, what are you waiting for? That you stop talking. Hello. 